Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are reviewing the reissue of Batman Hush. So finally got our hands on the reissue. This was put on Big Bad Toy Store. So uh, we were able to pick one up. It was an absolute must. I absolutely love the Hush storyline as well. The comics, the... the um, animated movies from everything anything hush i absolutely love it as well so you can't get anything hush without picking up the batman from there as well you know i know there's been a lot of batman action figures coming out and people are kind of sick of batman but me like i said man as long as it keeps it unique and we get different iterations of him from different genres or or not genres but more of like different iterations of him i 100 percent take all of them because i absolutely love batman he's one of my favorite dc superheroes as well absolutely love this and plus it's hush i mean you can't really complain about him as well and then you know there's a for for i believe this figure came back out in 2020 2020 i think um yeah, he was definitely up there with top figures of the year um, and a lot of people's uh, category uh, or a lot of people's videos or whatever. A lot of people absolutely love this figure. So me finally get my hands on it, give my own uh, interpretation for this figure. And let's see if it lives up to the hype. Uh, so there was that as well as just an added bonus in here. Uh, it was two figures that I bought from that huge haul, and that is uh, WWE Ultimate's Kane. Have to unbox him as well. Of course, Kane is huge on this channel. Um, uh, why I actually started, um, actually, if you guys don't know, most of you guys probably don't know, but my channel originated with the name Kane as well, in honor of Kane the wrestler, I should say, not the human. <laughs> you know um i, I love um uh, I, I i love kane man um i don't like his recent his whole politician um and his views on things but i definitely don't agree on that but um you know he's still a legend in my eyes and had to pick up kane as well as well as the undertaker recent wwe hall of famer he was an absolute boss this one was probably possibly one of my favorite Undertakers of all time because this is the Undertaker I grew up with, you know, him in the Ministry of Darkness. Um, absolutely love this as well. You know, like I said, this is the Undertaker I grew up with in the Attitude Era, basically. You know, I, I was uh, the Phantom Undertaker is a little bit past my my time, um, but this is the Undertaker I loved and grew up with um as well so absolutely love this this was an absolute boss he comes with three different head scuffs as well um and then one with the the mouth oh my god that looks so good we're definitely going to display him with that head as well king comes with two different head scuffs as well looks like he comes with a um uh, the wwe uh championship belt as well I always called this the rock belt because the rock had that belt for so many times and he just looked good in that belt as well he comes with a hand an open hand which i'm probably going to use because i got to have him in this position like he's doing the choke slam as well and i'm sure what that other accessory is um but we'll take a close look at that so first we'll do the WWE figures and then we'll leave the big hush figure for last so there's that so let's get straight on into it okay guys so when you take him out of the box, that's what he looks like. And overall, he looks absolutely freaking amazing, man. I love this head scarf, man. This is the classic Kane. Um, when I picture Kane, this is the Kane I picture as well. I still remember his first appearance. Uh, the first time him coming out as well. Um, it, it's actually pretty funny because people were... Uh, if you go look up his first appearance on YouTube, you see the other shockness. And the kids absolutely terrified when Kane first walked out because it was it was legit. I know his nickname is uh, Hell's Favorite Demon, uh, but it was it was just like that. It was just like something coming out from the underworld, and him walking down that ramp, and people were legitimately 
shocked and terrified about how, first of all, how gigantic he is. You guys can see he's seven feet tall, but just like his whole design, him just looking absolutely freaking fearless and just so badass just walking down the ramp. Him and Paul Bear was absolutely freaking amazing. I still remember, I'll never forget that, um, that whole look of him. But this is the classic original design I, I know and love Kane with. I will never forget this. <laughs> but he has the, his flame red and black as well. Just looks absolutely freaking amazing, man. I mean, if you were to picture him, I mean, look at that. What in the world's going on right here? Oh, no. That is pretty bad. The cuts on the legs, not really amazing. But I do say, though, he does feel really, really good in, in your hands as well. He, he is definitely... Um, feels like he's flexible. Now, I'm not saying he is as much because his, le his legs, you could tell, can't really extend out as much. Um, this one can. This one feels like if I push it out too much, I'm just going to snap it off. Um, that's what that feels like. The arms are really, really flexible. You could just tell right away with the, the hands as well. Let me see the head. The hair doesn't prevent the head from doing a 360 which is pretty good. Ab crunch is absolutely freaking amazing. Or should I say chest crunch? Uh, <laughs> ab crunch, um, not so much. But chest crunch is, uh, let's see, can he do a 360? Yeah, he can. Uh, as far as the the chest area, uh, the cuts on the, on the chest, he can turn, um, but not like do a whole 360. Uh, so there's that, but I love the whole design of Kane. He just, his suit is just so badass. But let me show off the head. So this is how the head looks. Looks absolutely freaking amazing. Um, the eyes do look a little off to the side. Um, at least the left eye is. Um, not sure how I like that, but from from far you can't really tell as much. Um, but it does look kind of side eyed a little bit. And the hair looks absolutely freaking amazing as well. So there is that. Uh, now let's go ahead and show off the other head sculpts as well as the cape that comes with it and as well as the WWE Championship. Okay, guys, so real quick, this is how he looks with the actual belt on. And it just looks absolutely amazing, man. These are the belt accessories when it comes down to these ultimates are some of my favorites because... Look how amazing that belt looks. Now, of course, it's not real gold. It's plasticky, but it looks it looks like it's a real gold. It's shining off the light, man. It's just absolutely freaking amazing when it comes down to it as well. Absolutely love that as well. Then it comes with this cape that it has Kane. Now, as far as I know, Kane barely even used a cape as well. Um, I don't remember Kane ever using a cape, so this is probably something I'm probably not going to use when it comes down to it, because this ain't the Kane that I know and love. Um, but I do remember him having one time using a cape as well, so there is that. But not like I said, not really what I'm going to use, as well as we'll show off the last head sculpt, but I just wanted to show off the cape as well. Okay, guys, last but not least, here is the other head sculpt that he comes with. And this one looks pretty good as well because this one has the hair slid back over the ears. So you actually could see the whole mask and it looks pretty good. So honestly, I would be fine with either or. I'm not really mad about um, either or, you know. But if this was the preferred way to rock Kane... Uh, without the hair like flowing off of him getting into the mask this is kind of the accurate way to post cane now this is that the way i'm gonna use this to post cane probably not um I, I like the other head the other head even though the eyes do look kind of sideways um i just think it's just the whole design and whatever the hell this is i'm still not figuring out what the hell this is as well but it's for something i'm not really gonna use when it comes down to it but it's just a cool accessory to have with them but other than that yeah that pretty much it when it comes down to king now let's go ahead and show off the one the only the undertaker okay guys so when you take out the undertaker this is what i picture 
Undertaker looking like um, when you take him out of package and just absolutely freaking amazing, man. Love this figure just instantly right away as well. Just the whole design of him as well. They just nailed that whole classic look when it comes down to him as well. Um, I love that he always has a sleeve as well. And then, then they actually, you know, little details like that actually nail it what his actual tattoo is. Not at all. Don't tell and I don't now I wouldn't sit here and say this is the exact same thing that he has, but it definitely looks like it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's really hard to tell what exactly is on here because everything kind of is like all scribbled or whatever. And I wouldn't say it's scribbled, but just small little detail on it. So that looks absolutely freaking amazing as well. Then going down from his hole, from his, from all his leather, from his leather boots all the way up, just absolutely freaking nails it when it comes down to another ticker. And this ain't a bad looking head scarf. This actually looks pretty good in my opinion as well. And it just nails his whole accents of him being the Undertaker. Like it just, oh my God, it's so freaking good. Absolutely love this. As far as articulation goes, he's kind of like Kane just a little bit better i mean his double knee could actually touch the back of his spine as well his right leg is a little bit more flexible than undertaker's was as well the hair doesn't prevent him from doing a whole 360 the arms can can uh, do it as well the hands as well ab crunch isn't the same as or it's basically the same as kane i should say chest crunch isn't as much as kane so that's probably the only difference there Anything, everything else is basically the same when it comes down to it. There's basically no way you could do a whole 360, as you guys can tell, with the joint at the bottom as well. But uh, articulation is on the foot uh, because just because you can't get the, or should I say the top foot or what you, whatever you call this, the top bone or whatever, um, you can't do a whole 360 on that, but you can't do a 360 on here. If you want to so there's that so it makes up for that as well but articulation is pretty good um from this figure now like i said he comes with three different head sculpts uh it, with this one being the default as well as two other ones and he comes with a huge jacket which is the one i'm going to display him with so we'll show off the two other head sculpts and then him with his jacket so let's go ahead and get straight to that okay guys so this is one of the heads that he comes with and this is his face is too slim for my liking i'm not really a huge fan of this head it kind of looks like it's too too much in as well but it, don't get me wrong it looks good on him it definitely looks good he looks badass but this is how it looks from the side as well this is how it looks from the back sculpted hair is always the best uh so there's that um but yeah i'm not the head i'm gonna display mine's with but i am gonna show you guys my final look for the undertaker okay guys so this is how the undertaker looks with his actual jacket on and looks absolutely freaking amazing now real quick i should say this head sculpt with of course with the crazy eyes and the and the tongue is not made for this jacket um accessory that comes with it um so what i had to do was push in the hair first from the back and then put the jacket on as you guys can kind of tell it was kind of hard to get it to cover up so you guys can kind of see it. it's not really in all the way and that's fine with me because i had to obviously had to sacrifice some things just so i could use this head scar because like i said this is the way i prefer to display my undertaker because this head, how could you not? You know, he has the wide eyes. His eyes roll back to the back of his head. He has the tongue sticking out as well. I had to go ahead and display him with the, instead of the open hand like Kane, I decided to get him kind of like the gripping claw hand is what I like to call it as well. So, because remember, they both have the same finisher. They both have the, um, the choke slam. Well, it's not, you could call it the signature is what they like to call it. It's more of, yes, he'll do the choke slam, but his finisher is actually the power driver. So there's two different ones as well. So first he'll hit you with the with choke slam. You don't, you kick out of that. The, your, your finisher is the power driver. Kane is basically the same way, but Kane has, uh, 
his signature is the, the choke slam. Uh, as his finisher is main, mainly the choke slam, but then he would hit you with the um, with the power bomb as well, uh, or they both would use the pile driver is what what they both used to do as well. So there is that. Um, I absolutely love this as well. Two, as you guys don't know, these guys are one of the greatest tag teams of all time, the Brothers of Destruction. For a long time, I always thought they were brothers <laughs> because that's how they always made it. And, you know, my young little mind didn't kind of really tell if it was fake or not. So there was that. But I love the soft goods they applied to this. You really barely see this in, um, I would call, smaller figures. You Mostly you see this in premium figures. But the fact that they added this, absolutely freaking amazing. It looks good. Now, nothing's wired about it, so you can't get it to flow off to a certain way. But it looks absolutely freaking amazing. And then, of course, inside has the plastic part to it, which kind of, like I said, kind of prevents the jacket. But that's okay. Like I said, you sacrifice to get your ideal look. But that is basically it. It comes down to the Brothers of Destruction. And they just look so badass together. But now let's go ahead and unbox what you guys came here for. And that is Batman Hush. Okay, I have to show this off because I swear I love Mafex's backdrops that they have. Or the back cards, inserts, whatever. And I mean, they're not really inserts or whatever, but they just look absolutely bad. I mean, come on, look at that. As well, if you're a type of guy who destroyed boxes, this is a back piece you, you should keep, man, and, and hang up, man. It looks absolutely freaking amazing as well. I uh, just wanted to show that off. So there's that. Okay, guys, so when you take him out of package, this is what he looks like. And he has a whole bunch of accessories to go with him. Of course, he has two different head sculpts as well. One with the normal face, one with a grinning face as well as a bruce wayne unmasked so there is that and then he has his course his long uh, grapple launcher as well comes with batterings different hands accessories uh i don't know oh those are probably the line launchers accessories so you could equip that with him as well and then we get the actual figure so there is that so now let's go ahead and take him out and mess around with him Okay, guys, so when you take him out of the package, this is what it looks like. And overall, just me messing around with it, I could definitely see why people absolutely praise this the first time around. It just feels badass. Oh, my God. I, I It's hard to explain the type of feeling it has when it comes down to this figure. Because, first of all, the flexibility is amazing. The soft good cape as well just feels great in your hand uh of course it's wired so you could get it how basically however position you really wanted to but it's only wired on the sides um there's like no wire at the bottom which is fine as well but this is kind of the cape you would want you want something just flowing off of him and you could get it to basically flow off in different directions as well and it looks it just looks absolutely amazing i love the colors when it comes down to this Hush Batman as well, it's kind of like, it feels classic-y type of look. If that is a real word, <laughs> so there's that as well. The dice swivel, not too much on it, but it makes up for articulation um, in it as well. So, yeah, you can get it to go in a certain way, but... It, you actually can because it could do a whole 360s, which is absolutely amazing. And then that doesn't even prevent the bottom leg as well from going into it, as well as the foot. It just looks absolutely freaking amazing. Like I said, you could basically get this figure to go off in any position you want it to. As I try to straighten it back out, since I kind of turn it around as well. I don't want to accidentally bend it and then break it, um, you know, because of my fat fingers as well but it just looks absolutely freaking amazing the arms are really articulated as well like i say you could get this batman position off in any fighting position as well and i could definitely see why this figure was definitely up there on a lot of people's um list man because oh my god it just then his whole like oh my god look at the head Holy crap. When you picture Batman, that is what you what you think of Batman. This is how he looks from the side as well. It comes with his default um, 
fist as well and then this is kind of like how it looks from the back just look at the soft glove just flowing off of him as well so like i say you can get it to however position you want now this ain't the final look i'm gonna have when it comes down to this batman but it just looks good so let's go off and show off the other head scalps as well okay guys so this is how he looks with the actual bruce wayne hand and it just looks so freaking good man i love this head scalp now is it what i'm gonna use to it with him probably not like i said man um i always display my batmans with the cow um i feel like there is rarely rare times i ever display mines with a normal bruce wayne head unless i buy multiple which obviously i'm not going to do that when it comes out to this figure but he just looks absolutely amazing is there if there ever maybe a chance i could display him one day with uh the bruce wayne head scalps but i just can't man i just always got to display mines with the cow as well but like i said this looks absolutely amazing when it comes out to i mean come on look at this guys holy crap it looks so good that's how it looks from the side as well it looks absolutely freaking amazing holy crap now that's of course that's how it looks from the back let's go ahead and put that down you guys can see sculpted hair that's a little bit of blues and black match pretty much matches the cape that's why it's flowing off of it as well so there's that but now let's go ahead and show him with the grinning mouth the one i am probably most likely going to use when it comes down to this figure okay guys i'll be real with you i was debating whether to display him with the uh, metal claw hands or maybe with the battering hands or something but oh my god like this this pose right here absolutely nails it for me and it, it was just a random pose that i decided to put him in and i was like oh my god like look at that she, oh my god <laughs> it looks absolutely freaking good now i'm gonna go ahead and ruin it because i do want to show off the other accessories that come with it but oh my god like come on this is absolutely freaking insane how good it looks jesus christ okay guys so this is how he looks with the actual claw hands as well as what i mean by that you know, it has like kind of like uh, Wolverine claws. It looks absolutely good. And since I have my hush displayed with one of them, the actual villain hush is what I'm, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, which I have unboxed them on the channel. So if you guys want to see him, because we're definitely going to face them off against each other. Um, so there's that. But um, I have mines display like that. So I'm really not going to display mines with him as well as the battering hand so this is how the battering looks in his other hand as well and this is how, how the whole design of it, of it looks of course it has like a bat like shape i love the top part of it because it looks like it has a cow on there as well and then he has a bigger one that goes with it so so there's that this one kind of looks like he's gonna grip it a little bit harder but that's how it looks in his hand as well so like i said normally i would display my batmans with these batterings or whatever but honestly i love that first pose so i might just use mine with the close fist so i guess we could show off the other hands as well and the other accessories so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so this is how he looks with the actual um the actual battering going off and it looks pretty good man it's not one of those that can um way down the figure kind of like the neck gargoyle figures as well no shot at NECA by the way just just saying um this is kind of like how you would want the the actual accessory to display without knocking down the figure over so there's that as well uh so i wanted to show that off and it looks absolutely amazing man i absolutely love this as well i know I'm kind of shaking as well uh let's go ahead and take that off so i could actually show the other one that he comes with which is kind of like the smaller one so that's how it looks as well so you could go ahead have him shoot it off you know do like a scene of him trying to get away or something um you know honestly these are cool accessories but it's not really ones that i normally use when it comes down to these type of figures as well even i would love to use these that's what i'm saying i kind of wish toy companies will actually give us like open pouches so we can actually show off some of the accessories and put them in the pouches of course you know 
that's kind of hard to do, but I would love that. <laughs> but hey, probably in the minority on that one. So there is that. But they actually look pretty good, man. Uh, absolutely love these as well. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it when it comes down to the Batman. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the closed fist back on and we'll go ahead and end the video. Guys, I also forgot to mention he actually comes with a stand. Uh, as well so if you guys want to display him i the reason why i had to mention it because people are like man he doesn't come with a stand uh, so there's that as well um i love the mafex's stands because they actually hold up pretty the, the figure pretty well uh so there, we could, i guess we could go ahead and show him off him standing on the stand okay yeah this is basically him on the stand the only thing i do say what compared to like this and mezco stands is or or any st other stands in general is this these stands are kind of smaller uh in comparison to the other ones as well and sometimes i mean in my opinion they do a good job of holding up the figure um but they're still kind of light when it comes down to other ones with mezco i know i can i could stand that figure up and put it in any pose and i know it's able to hold the weight of the figure um, this one, <laughs> not so much, and it's kind of lower to the ground, so I, I understand that people don't use these stands, but overall, they look pretty good as well. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use it when it comes down to this particular Batman, but it actually looks, it looks okay, it's passable. So there's that. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy this, please consider liking and subscribing. Helps the channel out tremendously. Keeps me motivated. Keep doing videos just like this one. So if you want to see more pictures of Batman facing off against Hush uh, or Undertaker and Kane, of course, I'm going to have them fighting some action figures as well. Uh, I will be posting them on my Instagram. If you don't have my Instagram, it's down in the description down below. So you guys could follow me and check me out on there if you guys want to. Uh, appreciate everyone who does. I appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes. We're only getting bigger and better, baby. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. But that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day. Stay tuned for the next unboxing. And see you guys later. Thank you.